you. What up? All right. Um. So, uh, we got season two, episode five of An Idiot Abroad. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Season two, episode five. Yes. Yes. Okay, man. This show's epic, man. It is. Yeah, man. It and is. Carl Pilkerton, man. You know, he's quite the adventurer. He's a legend. You know. <laughs> he's legendary. Definitely, definitely kicking the bucket list. Yeah. What we got? This is Mita Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Mita Gorilla. Uh, okay. And I don't know if this would be on my bucket list. Nah. To meet a gorilla. Nah, I'm pretty terrified of gorillas. You're risking your life. Definitely. You think a chimpanzee could rip your face off? What the what a gorilla can do? Oh, a gorilla could do anything it wants yes, to. Yes. Yes. <laughs> anything imaginable. Well, he saw he saw the monkeys. Yeah, but the gorillas are different. A gorilla's like a thousand monkeys. Oh, yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. And he didn't have any fun with those monkeys. He was calling them robs. He was calling them robberies. Yeah, he didn't like the little monkeys. Yeah, man, he didn't. He might like the big gorilla, though. Let's see. You ready? Yep. Let's go. The Bucket List. The Bucket List. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on an African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. Like how close is he gonna get to this gorilla? Ultimate things to do before you die. <laughs> That's the true question. Like how close are you about to be? If I was on the deathbed, gorilla? there's no way I'd want to be you can only get so close before you, before it's, it's not like, things to do a few minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. I don't think he really chose. Well, I think he, he chose the whales. It's difficult. He was so uh, suspicious after the last time. There we go. We told him that he gets to choose from the list what he wants to do. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that there won't be a few Land treats diving. in store that he's not expecting. This is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. Uh, no. <laughs> it's making Carl do things that no. other people want to do before they die. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> 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 Never do that in my life. On top of look at this one, come face to face with mountain gorillas in their natural habitat. What a privilege that is! One of the most endangered species on the planet. One of our closest living relatives. Ninety-eight <laughs> percent genetically identical to a human, a gorilla. Even more similar to you. What an amazing <laughs> privilege that is! I'd like to see one. I've seen them. Seen them in the zoo. Right. And they do impress me. Why do they impress you? How do they impress you? They just, um, just, just very human in the eyes. I, I think that would be such a meeting of minds. <laughs> You'd come face to face with a mountain gorilla in its natural habitat. Human Both the just eyes. there. Both nude um, amongst the foliage. I wouldn't be nude again. What is it with you and nude? They don't like clothes. <laughs> and you are hair yeah, all over. And I think you've got more chance you. of them seeing similarities. <laughs> there you got to be nude. About. In a, in a, like the woods, looking for apes, nude. Because <laughs> there's a point when that woods ends, and then suddenly one creeps ah. out, and you've got me legging it. <laughs> nude. Legging it. <laughs> nude. <laughs> he has to be nude. Why do you have to be nude? Now, I know the gorillas you're going to see are in Uganda, but before you, you head over there, we wanted you to just explore a bit more of Africa. Ooh, you so know, I'm going to start you off in South Africa because there's a, a couple of projects there we want you to, to take part in. Oh. There's a chap called Sipo, okay, he runs one of the local charities. Um, we've arranged for you to, to teach some local kids, build some huts. You've got a chance here to give something back, literally get your hands dirty. All right, mate? Okay. Mm. Build some huts. Charity. charity. As, I mean, has it got worse? Is it me, as I've got older, does it seem like there's more and more stuff we've got to give to? <laughs> when I was a kid, all I ever saw was like that kid wearing calipers outside a, a supermarket. It was like a, an iron model of a girl with calipers on her legs and a built-up shoe. And she you, you put like twenty p in it or whatever. I think so. That's what, that was that was being hassled for charity. Now you can't walk down the street without someone going. I need your help. <laughs> I think these people are sick and tired of people coming in from England with a camera crew. That's probably why they've not moved on. 
You probably want to build new houses and all that. They can't. They haven't got time. Crews keep turning up. If it's not Geldof, it's that Richard Curtis bloke or Lenny Henry cropping up. They can't get anything done. Supo. Hey, Cal. How's it? Yeah, I'm all right. Not too bad, not too yeah. bad. They already know the handshake? Right. <laughs> Let's go for it. Uh, so we can run. Oh, no, girl, damn me so. It's your security. Yeah. I need security. Security? Yeah. I'm Carl. Oh, okay. How are you doing? Just a normal handshake. <laughs> Why does he need security? How many can you handle? Oh, yeah, you gotta ask. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve? Is that, are you happy with that? Not really. You see, that's the problem with charity, isn't it? It's never enough. I mean, you just dropped me in here, everything's a bit of a shock to the system. But I've got a bodyguard, he's still with me, I'm in a primary school. How mm. dangerous is this place? <laughs> is <he a> <laughs> sending me in to teach the local kids here, I, I think it's more of a hindrance. I know nothing. I wonder if he's armed. I'm in a programme called Idiot Abroad. <laughs> Why don't you talk about some of the places you've been? Yeah, but if I start going, yes, well, well, kids, um, China. They haven't got doors on the shitters. They'll go away. <laughs> you've seen where they're living. What can I teach him? So Let's hear another toes on the topic, by the way. What is that? You're going to talk about risk. Risk. Mm -hmm. Risk in general. You can just say to them whatever you think and whatever you know about risk. Risk. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? Risk. Ah. Okay, risk. Right, stop messing about at the back. Right, will we shut the door, please? Because <laughs> that's also very risky, leaving the door open. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, what do you think <laughs> risk is? <coughs> mm. Right. <laughs> it's tough, this. Does anyone have any risks in the life here today? Yep, yeah, of course you can. Um, teenagers fall pregnant. Is that a risk? Wow. How yeah. old is she? Do you worry about that? Damn. 13. I didn't worry about people having kids when I was 13. <laughs> Do they honestly want to know about risk? Yes. In sex. In sex. You understand that? That's what we're talking about here. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was coming in to talk about Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> right, OK, here you go. The thing is... <laughs> I haven't got kids, just so you know. I'm 30... 38 now. I haven't got any children. So, why do you not have a kid? Because of you are old. I'm old? Yes. <laughs> it means you don't have a wife. No, I have. I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> For 17 years. <laughs> no, she's not 17. I've been with her for 17 years. <laughs> Alright? Okay. Uh, Don't push into young. having kids. <laughs> what you should do Those kids is focus are smart. on getting a job. <laughs> meet a woman, meet a man. Have a good time for a bit. <laughs> but be careful. Wear a condom. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Right, I've covered that. What else do you want to know? <laughs> you cut your hair, you? No, it's not cut. This isn't a style. I'm bald. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this isn't our, I don't say, can you just take that bit off and leave that? Uh, Do you want to play on a bike? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> beep, beep. This is a risk. That's risky. Never do that. <laughs> Never do it one-handed. Wow, do that. you ride the bike backwards. OK. Yeah, OK. I got some bikes too. Damn. Those kids are I smart. I from Rudy Javier that you are good in DIY. I'm, so right. I'm looking for the guy for DIY. I'm your DIY. man. So you can do it. Geldof. He did a lot, didn't he? He, was, he got involved in all this in the 80s and he's got sick of it. He's moved on. I don't hear about him coming here anymore because you feel like, how, what can you do? What can you do? How can you sort this out? You're going to break down a house and rebuild it from scratch. Is this just water or is that... Uh... Everything that you're not thinking of. <laughs> what? You need to meet the family first. Cal. How are you doing? Hello. 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 Everything Hello. that you're not thinking of. Hello. Hello. This is where it starts. Uh, give loads of charity. 
helping old people, <laughs> deaf kids, <laughs> save the kids. If anything, oh, shit. I'd say I'm single-handedly <laughs> causing the world's population problem. Because um, I'm saving everyone. I'm like Superman. <laughs> sure, we've got the right house. <laughs> I have to be helping out. I help anyone out. Someone needs better help. But me turning up for one day, doing a bit of DIY, is that really going to sort this out? It's going to take forever. Look how many need to be replaced. <laughs> Damn. 600,000 people live here, he said. Apparently, the rules are you're meant to build your own. But the people we're helping today are ill, so they need help to build their house. But I don't know where they went. I sort of shook their hand and said, I'm going to build your house. They disappeared. Got out for the day. <laughs> he's, been, he's been lying on a bed in the corner there, just... Has he? Can you imagine being ill and there's someone coming out and knocking your house down? Well, hang on a minute. Just leave me, let me be, I want peace and quiet. He's got the builders in making the right racket. The right balls up for that one. OK. Not the greatest view, is it? It's all right, though, isn't it? Steve, it's Carl. Did you do that yeah, yeah, I got it there. done. I got the hook done. <laughs> There's about another 600,000 to do, so I, d I don't <laughs> quite understand what I was meant to get out of it. All you're doing is you're just helping others because that's a good and honourable thing to do. Yeah, but I do that. When I get back, I'm going to show you my bank statement and you'll see all this stuff flying out left, right and centre. <laughs> Helping all these other charities. But Carl, don't you understand the difference between a little bit of money dribbling out of your account once a month and actually getting down there with your hands dirty? Right. When, 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 was, when was the last time you were over here, Steve, getting your hands dirty? <laughs> when were you, when, I, I can't remember you saying, when, when were you here again? I'm asking you because you know, you're on the ground floor. What I've done, I've built a nice new shiny hut where the old hut was. <laughs> There's still a river of shit was in past it. You know what, mate? You are right. You changed my mind, Carl. All these years, I've been thinking it was good to help other people. But you know what? Talking to you for two minutes on this phone, I realised, no, Carl, oh, it's absolutely really bloody right. <laughs> no, Carl, there's all this money going out of your account. Yeah. Carl, you're helping people. 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 Carl, you're
How much are they? They're 500 quid. Do you know what? I'd rather I'd rather pay the 500 quid out of my own money than to do this. <laughs> I'll raise you. I'll, I'll buy 200 if you jump then. Damn. Where's this going to end then? He's got more money than me. <laughs> Damn. I'll I tell you what, I'll pay the grand. Let's leave it Three, there. 300. <laughs> You're making me look all right, twat, eh? <laughs> no, I'm not. You are, because I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'll pay that, I'll pay that. This is my last offer, OK? I'll buy five huts. <laughs> if you jump, you've bought five huts, basically, and you feel good about yourself, and you've made me look a twat. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Think about it. So you're going to do it, right? Uh, <laughs> you? You're going to do it, aren't you? You're going to do it. <laughs> oh, yes, no, is that gone out the window? I built a hut yesterday. You should be over the moon about that. It's good, man. It's not so bad. As you can see my face, I'm happy, man. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> oh! Let's <laughs> 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 a smile as he jumps. What's going to happen? Forget it. Do you mean I have to do it like that? Yeah, as if I would be. It's a definite no, honestly. <laughs> Not for me. Yeah, Let's leave it as that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, good. it's good, man. Yeah, look, I'm smiling. Ricky didn't do it. <laughs> Are they going to keep doing this? Are they going to set something up again whilst oh, I'm here? Damn, that's dope artwork, though. I'm just thinking, give them a call. Jump. Say, yeah, I did it. Man. All right. Not to lie. All right, how's it going? How was it? Mental. Did you do it? You yeah. jumped? Yeah. <laughs> I went to, didn't I? So, uh, yeah. Well done. Were you, were you scared, though? No, no, not really. I just, you know, it was one thing. I just was focused. I just thought, I've got to do it. Let's get on with it. I just was like, right, here's a tape roll, and I'm doing this. Bang, done, bosh. Get these five huts. Let's get these people happy here. They were over the moon. Oh, well done. Tell Steve, yeah? Just let him know, because he was having a go at me yesterday and all that. I'm sick of it. <laughs> just say, Carl did it. He's raised the money. We've got the five hooks, everyone's happy. I would, I would ask Steve to chip in, but do you think there's any point? Well, pointless. I said that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you did it, um, I'm going to know about uh... for a little treat, because I know how much you like them. Um, so, not only have they got their hearts, and you feel brilliant, but um, you can uh, stay in a caravan now. <laughs> That's all right. I'm happy with that. No, no, it's not right to do that, but he's shut him up now, hasn't it? That's the end of it. I've done a bungee, as far as he's concerned. Ricky's happy. He's going to see his film. I'm happy. I've got my caravan. <laughs> so he's a, he's a nice lie, isn't he? He's not an evil one. <laughs> a nice lie. <laughs> well, now I can go where I want to go, can't I? Stay where I want to stay. So I'm thinking of stopping off at a place where... Uh, a couple have got a hippo as a pet. Hippos. Tony, go out and meet you. Tony. Shirley, please meet you. Welcome here. Oh, it's mad, isn't it? I saw it on the internet. There's loads of clips. This one's in about the front room. It's mental. They're dangerous. Quite fancy getting a pet. But it's just that thing of airs going everywhere. I suppose that's a good thing with a hippo. You don't get airs on the sofa. What? <laughs> it's bloody massive, isn't she? When she cuts out of the water. Oh my god, it's letting its own. <laughs> that is mental. Um, that is that's mad. a hippo. My dad didn't let the cat in the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hippo in here. <laughs> it can't get through there, can it? Yeah. 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 Would you like to feed her beans? You don't oh have to god. throw it in. She's calm, she's relaxed. There you go. Wonderful. That was excellent. <laughs> oh, what a lovely little baby. It's not little. Mm. Donkey juice. Thank you, Jessica. Donkey juice. Donkey juice. Donkey juice. One more. Oh, I'll keep messing. I'm making a right mess of your kitchen. Oh, you got a hippo in it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne from the back. I can't use that. Do you have insurance? Oh, Is this not your plasma over? Are you covered? No. 
It's like some sort of mad dream or a cartoon. When you think about what I've been put through, and this is the maddest thing I've seen in 38 years. <laughs> Every night, she has a aromatherapy body massage. Ew. What it makes me realise is... Ew, is that, is that I'm quite lucky with Suzanne. She asked for a cat, she's asked for a dog. I've got no... We haven't got the space. Shirley's got a hippo. It's too much. <laughs> is it fully grown? Is it going to get any bigger? Oh, I'm pretty sure you have that big. Wow. Oh, it's Sunday morning. Okay, you got a shower out there? You can't be lying in bed all the time, right? There's charity yeah. stuff that needs sorting out. Seacoast is calling me. The guy, you know, who does the charity stuff, raising money for the huts. Have you paid it yet? Hello? Oh, what do you want? Well, I'm just calling up, just letting you know I'm having a good time. Just, uh, just had a little shower, had some breakfast, sat here with a hippo. Uh, yeah. yeah, honestly. I'd say if you're seeing animals, this is the best way to see it. In someone's house, have a cup of tea if you want it. Biscuits on, on the go. <laughs> just sat here now. It's well happy. Is it happy though? What do you mean? Of course it's happy. It doesn't just live in a house though, does it? It's happy. No, it wanders off, <laughs> wanders in, watches a bit of telly. Wild animals should be in the wild, Carl. Whatever. I mean, don't be worrying. Yeah, I'm off to see the gorillas. I'm not going to bring one home. Seepo again. Hiya, Carl. The money still hasn't transferred into our account. Give it a chance. Hippo. Ricky tells me you're up near Jessica the Hippo and there's a township that could do with your help there. They also need more huts. Let me know. Ricky's just taking the piss. He can't even be asked to wind me up anymore. He's getting someone else to do it. <laughs> Is that what it's going to be like for the rest of the trip? We're in the shit here. Who can we call? We've got Carl's number. I'm here. Get him. Honestly, I feel like the fourth emergency service. Hello? Alright, it's Carl. How's it going, mate? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Not bad. I'm a lot happier now with this uh, caravan. It's like the glory days when you used to holiday in Wales. Well, I tell you, it's pretty close. This is the happiest I've been on the, doing this bucket list. <laughs> I'm telling you this, mate, honestly, I have not heard you this chipper, this chirpy, possibly forever. <laughs> so, uh you got out for me today. Right. Why did I see you to go and visit the Enderbelly Tribe? Enderbelly Tribe? They're going to teach you their painting techniques, all right? And in exchange, you get the privilege of cooking a meal for the king. The king? Oh, you're actually going to be cooking for royalty. <laughs> I've never met a king before. What do I cook him? It's cooking. I don't know, whatever you think would express Carl Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to cook. So just keep it simple, cheese. I'm gonna cook him something that I'd eat at home. I don't want to try and be fancy. Oh, please. <laughs> Even the owl's going, bloody hell. Cooking for a king tonight. He'd eat beans. Beans? <laughs> beans and toast? Oh, yeah, another that tribe. Ah, <laughs> 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 They're not that different. I mean, you know, the clobber that they wear and all that sometimes, you kind of go, what are you playing at? But, take that away. Oh, what's that? people, aren't they? And most people like beans. I like all this. This is good. OK. Very nice. Very nice, that. Colourful. We can pay your caravan. Um, <laughs> I'm not allowed to paint the caravan, though, am I? It's a hide, it's not my caravan. It comes off with water. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, okay. Yeah, if it comes off, just because, like I say, it's not mine. But you know, that'd be good then. All right, yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Do you need help getting up when you've got these on? Because I imagine it's difficult getting up. <laughs> it's like having guttering on your legs. Oh, my goodness. Are you sure you're all right? Right, okay. Just one side, it maybe. Must be heavy. Yeah. Just a little bit at Damn. a time. Let's, you know, let's not go mad. Hey, my baby. So what? I don't understand this paint. No, that's not a paint. Countdown. A countdown. Yeah. Cow. Cow dung. Yeah. Oh. What are you using? A shit. 
cow shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not seeing cow shit. That's lovely paint. You come over here with a bottle of oh. me caravan here. That looks nothing like the art over there. Oh. It's nothing like it. This is yes. like a dirty protest. Oh! Yeah. Police. Your mum's been at it again. Shit all over number 18. <laughs> So you must also do this. You must dip in your hand. Oh my God. It stings oh when you wake it up like that. <laughs> uh, keeps hitting me. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's nice. All the toilets I've been in since I've been here have looked like this. I realised that it's art. Why are they using shit? Flicked off. I'm meant to be cooking for a king. Got my hands in a load of shit in here. <laughs> Brilliant. Luke, can I go and wash my hands? <laughs> Why are they using shit? Why do they use shit? That's the king. <laughs> Hello? I'm Carl. Yes. Yeah? Good one. Good one. I'm just preparing your food for you. Yes. How many people um, are you eating with tonight? <laughs> these people. Wow. All these are eating as well? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn, that's a lot of people. Okay, you go and do what you got to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a king. He's wearing a full cheetah on his back. Mm. Should give him yeah. a fucking kitty cat, not beans. Oh, God. <laughs> What's this on the floor? Nibbles to start. Shortbread biscuits. I don't know if they've tried them. It's a new thing for them. Oh, God. Uh, mm. Wiggly worms. Some crisps. Oh, <laughs> uh, in case they're sort of fitness freaks. Apples. Crisp, biscuit, fruit, wiggly worm. Quite sour. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Toast. <laughs> what the hell? Toast. Beans. Toast. Can't you just help us here? You can see I'm struggling here. I can't do this. I can't do it, Luke. <laughs> Fucking hell. I've just kicked a load of shit off. What is this? Sorry about the delay. Meat. Meat? Yeah. I the just said the meat. meat. You eat. You eat the meat. Uh, this isn't it. There is also a pudding. <laughs> Cheese on toast with beans. That's God, a horrible that's meal. The world. That's what he eats at That's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> that's a horrible yeah. meal. That's what he eats at home. They looking for some steak. Chocolate uh, sponge. <laughs> Custard. Thank you. Quite warm. God, I'm knackered. No wonder Rams is always swearing. Oh. Yeah? Who does? All of them. I haven't got enough. I bought one box of custard. <laughs> they don't want any more. He's moved on to a plate of meat. Some woman's come out. She's had more time, aren't she? Yours looks fucking brilliant compared to that shit. <sighs> that was a horrible meal. Look, I've sorted out oh, the to join a major animal uh -huh. conservation project. I mean, is that normal? Is that normal? They're going to be relocating wildlife. <laughs> normal meal, because. Uh, no, beans and toast. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. And they're training you up. Come on. Give you a real. Are you into the grocery store? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See you later. Okay. I don't get him at times. How many animals do I need to see? And I've still got to face the gorilla. Is he? What's that there? What's, what animal is this? That's the uh, dung of a blue wildebeest. It's uh, Well, you, you don't have to pick it up. I just... Pretty old, drop it. <laughs> ah! Yeah, quite old. Are you joking? Are they olives? What are you doing licking it? <laughs> just taste this. <laughs> it. It's a way to determine the age of the dropping. We'll talk about that later. Uh. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm determining 
the freshness of the dropping. And it can be determined just by, by the taste of it. <clears throat> But is that a last resort? That's, I mean, no, surely you keep driving. It's just a standard little through. tester. You don't want to follow the wrong set of footprints, do you? No, how often a week are you licking shit? <laughs> yeah. With me. Ew! Won't hurt you. Don't do it, Carl. Get your finger in there, but and then you can kind of get a bit of a, oh. a taste of it, you know? Oh, my God. Things to do before you die. Stick a finger in a lot of shit. Got some? You taste it, it's a little bit sweet, I and mean, then we'll find some later on that's even fresher. Oh, that's wine tasting. Kind of, I suppose, same kind of principle. <laughs> wine tasting. <laughs> get it. Do you know You Bet with Matthew Kelly? Do you get that over here? No. It's a programme on the telly. Say if there was piles of shit mm -hmm. and I blindfolded you and went, what's that? Would you, could you tell <laughs> just by that what animal it is? <laughs> I'd give it a go. It's not a skill to be proud of. <laughs> So now we're going to head into the area where the rhinoceros has been located. <laughs> Why have we got a shift there? Well, this particular rhinoceros bull is holding a territory which is full of young females that are actually, many of them are his daughters. Damn. They're the weirdest right looking thing on the planet, aren't they? I mean, there's some people who think, God created oh, stuff oh, like oh, that. Oh, well, look at it. Would he really? Would he really design something as gorgeous looking as that? And don't look at me. <laughs> We've given the no, rhino an injection, stressing its head on no. a tree, messing about with it a bit. And then they walk it over to a truck, get it on the back of the truck, oh, fuck. get out of this tribe. Because apparently I've sort of had it away with its own daughter, which isn't good. Kind of get div rhinos running around. <laughs> Damn. Another sort of group of rhinos. <laughs> It can have it away with them. That's it, isn't it, really? I don't want to get this close to a gorilla unless this fella's here sticking an injection up its arse. <laughs> I mean, we could do that, couldn't we? Knock it out, have me sat with it. Right, can lag it. <laughs> biggest thing, second biggest thing on the planet. Yeah, there's a fact for you if you want wow. it to look good. What's the biggest thing? Elephant. Think so. Elephant, isn't it? Second, that's just, it is. Don't go, why do you question everything? Oh, there's I, I know some facts. Have you been whale watching <laughs> on this series? I mean, those are animals. Those are animals. But. I got a text from Suzanne. I just was saying, oh, how's it going? She's still oh, stressful. I'm moving office. I was moving a fucking rhino. <laughs> it's pretty damn close to a rhino, man. <laughs> Kimpala, Uganda. All right, Carl. Um, now you're in Uganda. There is a market where they sell a lot of second-hand clothes that have been donated by charities. Mm. So uh, meet your guide, this guy called Bam, and he'll be by a white van at the entrance. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I thought it might be quite a nice gesture. <laughs> buy up some clothes that you could take with you on the trek to see the gorillas. All right, mate. Bye. Mm -hmm. You know a fellow called Bam? Bam. A, f a man called Bam in a what in a van. He said what? You Bam? Hi, Carl. So you're welcome to Uganda. Um, Bam. All right. <laughs> hey, deep in the forest, you need something like a jacket, a heavy jacket. Heavy jacket. Yeah, and uh, khaki or cordials. That's what that's we're going to get you. I mean, is that a priority when I'm going to see a gorilla? What pants am I going to wear? I'm going to need a pair of cords. Ricky when you stay naked. There's no way I'm going naked. <laughs> Gorillas in the mist. She had clothes on. <laughs> David Attenborough, oh, yeah. when he was rolling about with him, having a wrestle. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know about it. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. So if that's if it's if it's wear the cords or not, I'll wear the cords. I don't even know why you're yeah. filming me don't shopping. Honestly, I sometimes think you're making a different programme to me. <laughs> Let's buy these. That's um, seven thousand. Seven thousand. Uh, how much is that in pounds? One pound sixty, mate. One pound sixty? Oh, wow. Yeah. Pounds. yeah. That's really good. Yeah. What else have they got? Yeah, they do need a long sleeve. It's <laughs> brilliant. Great top here. You know, I've always got a problem with the boiler. <laughs> British gas. Good, that, innit? 
Oh. Just ten more oh. minutes, just have a look around. He shabby. Yeah, they're good then. You like it? Yeah, I do, yeah. How about if I just do a swap? Yeah. Let's go. Got a guy, <laughs> he said do the swap. Hey, look, they've got a pool table. <laughs> Oh, this is really Damn. what we had in mind. To be honest, I didn't have in mind shopping about buying cords. Rules have changed. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. He swapped the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he just swapped them. <laughs> they let him do that. You well, this does you are welcome. You are welcome to our country, Uganda. Aye. All right, boys. This is, this is I've been spent too long in the market. Um, <laughs> probably should have told you you've got a 12-hour drive. Damn. To get to the uh, impenetrable forest. Um, 12 hours? But, I mean, it's easier to just sitting in the van, chilling out. <laughs> Hard to work, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you all the best luck to stay on this Gorilla Forest camp. <laughs> Piss me off at times. <laughs> about what you're going to say to, to the viewers when you're out there with the gorillas? I don't know. Just see how it goes. Why are you worrying about that? No one's going to be expecting a great speech from me anyway, are they? <laughs> Everything's been said that can be said about a gorilla. <laughs> he got the British gas. Yeah, okay. to see one. <laughs> how long's this trek? Three hours. You are kidding me. Three hours? We're walking another three hours. <laughs> Oh, mate. Jesus. <laughs> 12-hour drive, three-hour walk. You know, it's worth it. Go run this closer here. I'll just smell the way it is. You can smell a gorilla's nest? Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. And make sure that he leaves the poop so that no <laughs> one will use it anymore. Do you need to um, taste it to see how near they are? No, you don't. We can see it's fresh, the leaves are wet. Why are you jumping straight into stick your finger in it? <laughs> we are getting close to Gorilla. We're not though, you've been saying that, we've been going for hours. We've got to walk <laughs> the same route back. Five minutes. Five minutes. You said five minutes? How long now? Three though? hours, 34 minutes? Seven minutes. He said seven minutes. Seven minutes? Less than 10 minutes, the gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> We are getting much closer to them. You're smart. Is this how you imagined it? No. No, I didn't. I didn't. I've never. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> don't talk to me. Honestly, don't. <laughs> Look at this. If I, I, I fucking trip, it's got hold of me. Fuck's sake. Dear me, I did. My feet are hurting. My toes are being crushed with these boots. My socks are wet. Got a date coming on. Uh, they have started moving towards where we passed. No, are you saying <laughs> the gorillas are going back to where we started? Yes. <laughs> That's why Diane Fossey stayed with them, didn't it? She couldn't be arsed. She did the trek. Yes. The bollocks are going back. It's easy to live with them. Five right? hours? This is an indication that we are much close to the gorillas. This is a gorilla poo. I've seen Ew. it. Ew! This one has been one of the wonderful tracks. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. I may say 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, snap. Whoa. Oh, oh, that that's a good tea. Damn. It's a big one, isn't it? Shall we start off our smaller one? <laughs> it's bloody nasty. But how many gorillas are there in the world? We have got 720 mountain gorillas living in the whole world. Damn, that's not a lot. That's nothing that you could put the world's gorillas 
on one flight. <laughs> Take up more than one seat, though. Right. You can get a lot, if they had standing. If it wasn't taking off, and and there was no sort of rules, you could put some in business class and all the rest of it. You could get them all on it, which made me realise that that is a bit of a problem. Not that that is a problem. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh! Oh! David, should I sit down? <laughs> Hello? Alright. What have you been doing? Well, it was the gorillas thing today, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Did you see one? <laughs> yeah, I saw, saw a family of them. Bit of communication. That must be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not really. All oh, right, headache. I've got mozzy bites on the head. <laughs> Ten hours it was in total to get there and back. Really? Walking wow. in mud, socks wet, covered in shit. I got right. there. They wanted me to sort of give some quote as to what I was feeling like. Couldn't think of anything. We got little ears. Long arms, short legs. <laughs> this is your speech. Wow, do you do you are just like Attenborough? That is just like Attenborough. Yeah, but he's, he, I think it's all to do with the accent. If Attenborough said that, if he went, and they've got little ears, people go, oh, that's good. I think it's because I, I'm northern. Yeah. People go, he sounds like a right dickhead. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? Saying nettles up my arse, trying oh. to think of something worthy to say. I just think, at the end of the day, I tell you what, don't say anything. Sometimes you can say it best when you don't say anything at all. Ronan Keating said that. <coughs> let's, let's, let, yeah, there you go. Let's take the words of Ronan Keating here. Ronan. I say it best when I say nothing at all. I'll put my hands down because there's shit everywhere. I mean, you know, I know that the trip was all about the gorillas, but I reckon I've made a lot of difference in Africa. You sorted that thing out for me to build a hut. I've done that for them. Yeah. I taught kids. Yeah. I cooked for the king and his mates. I shifted <laughs> that rhino. That's another charity act. You finally did the bungee jump, which is pretty amazing considering. No, Adam, you were at the beginning, you'd never do it. But that's what, that's, <laughs> what, mm, that's what I was going to say, though. Because I've been doing a lot of charity work, I just want to finish this trip by uh, sort of completing it. And I'll pay the two and a half grand <laughs> when I get back. And then that way, it's all part no, of... No, no, no. No, I don't mind. That's <laughs> what I'm going to do. <laughs> no, I want to, honestly. I want to. No, no, that, no, you did it. No, I paid. You did the jump. Jump. I didn't do it. I didn't do the jump. <laughs> I didn't do the jump. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do the jump. What the bungee jump? Mm. <laughs> but what, when, how were you going to get away with it? I've seen the footage of you not jumping. Yeah. No, but I got the di I got Luke, the director, to put me out on. And do the jump, but his hat came off, so you can see that he's not bald, so he didn't work. Uh. <laughs> this is like one of those dumbest criminals ever. I can't even be angry with you because you are so useless. Uh, well, we can split the two and a half grand then. No, 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 you're playing it. <laughs> That's hilarious. So now, not only are you made a complete twonk of yourself and showing that you're a coward. I'm a liar. You're two and a half times down. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my best day ever. You, you sure you saw the gorillas? I'm not going to get it back, and it's Luke in a fucking fur coat. <laughs> 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 Luke in a fur coat. <laughs> Damn, yeah. <laughs> Damn. So he got he got his director Luke to put on his head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, uh, okay. Because I was like, how the hell? Yeah. They're doing the show. <laughs> and he's not going to know. Yeah, okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's good It's good that he, had, you know, he fessed up. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's all for a great cause. Yeah, of course, yeah. He got stuck with a 2500 <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh. That was a good trip for Carl. Though. That was a good yeah, trip. Yeah, it was, man. That was a good trip. Africa was like a great place, man. We met a lot of animals. Yeah, did some good shopping, man. Yeah. Shopping, yeah, you got yeah. Them, uh, them, them shoes. This, uh, the look like Adidas. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they look like Adidas good. shoes. A good swap, man. He swapped them. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> I didn't know they do that. Yeah, I should be able to go into the mall and swap my shit. And then the shirt was seven thousand. I don't even know what it was. It was like seven thousand something. Yeah. And like the conversion was uh, like a dollar and sixty cents, or a pound and one pound sixty. They said. I think that's like a dollar and sixty cents. Yeah. You can get a lot. Mm-hmm. That's why he went shopping. He went crazy over there. Damn. He's like man, let me get this. Let me get this. Went dancing in the streets. <laughs> yeah. And, man, he was having a blast, man. Yeah. Met that school. No, oh, kids. The kids are smart. The kids are smart. <laughs> He's like risk like uh, pregnancy. <laughs> he didn't know they was talking. Oh, he didn't know they was going. Man. He said I was that worried deep. about that at thirteen years old. Yeah, like, you want to talk about that? <laughs> Sex. <laughs> Condoms. <laughs> oh, oh man, yeah. Okay. Too funny, man. Too funny, man. Girl, man, he's definitely a character, man. Yeah, one hundred percent. He met gorillas. Like, he got up close and personal with freaking gorillas. Like, that's closer than I would ever, ever get. Like, because yeah. things can snap. You oh, think yeah. a chimpanzee will rip your face off. A gorilla. A hike. A like, hike. <laughs> like David Spell said, a gorilla will rip your dick off and throw it in the tall grass and never be seen again. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I think that's what he said. <laughs> but, yeah. 